Hello there, friends. Hopefully it's coming through okay. I think it is really great to connect with all of you. Happy New Year. I hope your evening last night was wonderful and safe and enjoyable and you got some good sleep. Um, we had a nice night with all the dogs over here at our house too. We've got a, another house full of our B&B, &B, our boarding dogs here at the house. Maybe one will come here. Cappy, Cappy, come here. Come up and say hello. Come on. Come here. Come on. No doesn't want to be part of it today. That's okay. So uh, good to see all of you. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kim. Um, I saw uh, Tammy's with us also and Patty. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys so much for joining this group. Hi, Vanessa. I'm so excited to be able to have this opportunity to connect with all of you and to have just a little touch in each day. The intention here, the big idea is that we just take like 15, 20 minutes each day and we come together do a little talk, little ritual, bit of an experience through our meditation so that we really can um, have the, really set the tone and, and pave the path, so to speak, to walk into this fabulous new year. So today, what it's all about on day one is getting clear. So oftentimes, and you know, I notice this within myself all the time, you go into kind of that time of year or into some space where you're wanting to create some intentions and get clear on what you want, and there's just this sea of information coming, right? You don't know what's yours, what comes from your deepest truth, or what comes from outside influences, from society, from conditioning. What should we be doing? What is everybody else doing? You know, it's a time of year perhaps that also can bring up a lot of even insecurity or um, un, um, being unsure of kind of your footing. And you know, you turn on, you go online for just a few minutes and you see so many people um, doing all of their intentions and you know, getting really focused on what's coming ahead. But I don't hear enough about a process in which we release what's occurred. We stand in the present and we get really connected deep in our heart and soul to what lies ahead. So that's the intention of this group is to slow it down a little bit, not just rush through a ritual of, okay, it's New Year's, let's do this, but instead to slow it down, take five days to kind of walk our way through and really be very mindful as we step into this year. So wonderful to see you, Tara. Tara comes to us from the Netherlands, I think, is watching, and Beth and Vanessa and Patty. Wonderful, happy new year, friends. Thank you so much for joining this group. It's wonderful to come together, isn't it? With people all around the world that have such um, similar intentions. Very powerful. You know, we can use this collective energy that we share in this group to really harness the, the possibilities and all the potential outcomes for our future and use this support with each other. So let's get into it. Um, Benny is here with me and uh, some of the other dogs are here on the ground. Our dogs will of course be included in this. They, um, they are here by our side holding space with us and really reminding us that of that present moment awareness. You know, they're so good at coming back to that space of being far more easy than we are more easily. So I think an important part of having them here with us throughout an experience like this is not only to bond and to have this peaceful space and for them to receive the benefits of the meditation, but also because they really help to guide us into that space in which everything is possible and we get out of our head and into our heart. So that's really the, the big teaching from today that I wanna to offer to you and that you can take home with you and carry forward, um, not just today and with this practice of intentions, but through all of your decision-making and your kind of guiding, navigating through the future. This tool, this body awareness tool has been taught to me by many different teachers, but of course, one of them being Dr. Deepak Chopra, my dear teacher, and someone who constantly reminds us to feel the body. That's his Indian accent, in case you were curious. Uh, he reminds us all the time to do that because we are so stuck in our heads and in all the doings and all the uh, thought traffic that we struggle sometimes to really feel what is and tune in with that compass that's our being, our physical being, our physical body. This compass is powerful, it is wise, it's intuitive, and it's deeply connected to what we ultimately want and need and desire. And then the mind gets in there and kind of clouds things up, right? So that's the idea. So what we'll do together is first we'll take some deep breaths and we'll 
ground and just kind of get comfortable. And then we'll bring our attention into the thoughts and into all of the kind of the, the processing that happens and the thinking. And then we'll bring our attention down into our body. And from that place, when we're landed and we're connected there, you will probably notice, if not today, then as you practice this, you'll start to notice that your body gives you very clear signals. Your body always knows. So whether you're making a decision about what you're gonna do this evening or um, what your intention for the year is, or whether you want to adopt that particular dog or not, or whether you want to have that conversation at this particular time or a different time, no matter what the, the decision making is, you'll learn, and maybe you already do this, but this will help you to continue to learn how to deepen into your body, get out of the busyness of the mind, and really listen to the whispers within that are, again, giving us very clear messages. And I find this such a powerful practice for myself. As you know it gets confusing and sometimes you just don't know you don't know where the the real truth is coming from and this will give us a great opportunity so let's do it get comfortable if you will bring your furry friends around if you choose or maybe they're across the room like Maya and are in the other room knowing that it does not require us to be physically next to them to give and receive all that is available through this live broadcast so do let me know that you're here if you haven't yet, and certainly as we continue on, let us know what comes up for you. I'd love to see pictures as well of you and your pups or wherever you were meditating this morning and uh, doing this practice, and certainly what are some of the clear intentions that you're setting. You know, so we'll talk about that a little more as we go. So please take a moment now, just get really comfortable, settle in. Turn off the distractions around you, aside from your cell phone, of course, or your computer. <laughs> but if there's anything else that can be just silenced for a little while, that's a good idea. <laughs> this, this feels like it's hanging in strange places, my necklace. <laughs> so once you feel grounded and settled, please go ahead and close your eyes. And take some deep breaths and let them move through you. Allow your facial muscles to relax and your jaw and your neck and your shoulders. A few more deep cycles of breath continue to allow your body to quiet down. And your mind to quiet down. Continuing with those big, long, deep breaths. Let your shoulders soften. And just simply observe the breath now as it comes in and out. That in itself can be a wonderful practice to bring us present. So really tuning in with the breath, filling the lungs completely, filling the belly, and slowly releasing it out. Now, Let's settle into our body. So noticing the busyness in the mind. Maybe it's thinking about what we're doing, what I'm saying, what's going on around you. The mind will always be distracted. But as we sit now, allow your awareness to guide you into the body. Feel the weight and the mass. Feel as if you're rooted down from the base of your spine all the way down into the earth. Feel a plugging in to help you ground 
while there's still a lightness of your being, an openness and expansion as you breathe deep and full. Now, as we settle even deeper into our heart space, perhaps you'd like to lay a hand on your heart for just a moment and then relax your hand down. But sometimes just that physical touch can help us even more to get into the physical body, get into that energy center of love within us. And from this space, we ask a soul question. We're looking to just see what comes up after the question, not searching for answers, but just allowing whatever bubbles up to come. Really just ask the question and see. What do I really, really really want? What do I really, really, really want? As the mind wanders, just ask yourself silently that question again and again. Peacefully. Just allowing. What do I really, really, really want? Continuing your deep breath. Noticing the analytical mind coming up, trying to sort through the various thoughts. Allow your breath to be the guide back to the anchor of the body. And let it settle in again. Ground. And then ask the question of your heart. What is it that I really, really, really want? Now, allowing your mind to very gently, very slowly look through the thoughts and notice which thought, which want, which desire was felt from the deepest part of your being. Which desire was felt in your soul? What came up? Maybe as a surprise. Maybe something you've never even thought before. Without any judgment or assessment, no righting or wronging. It's not what should be. It's just what is what is. What is there for you when you ask that question? Remember that there's no right answer. And the more simple, the better. So once you've identified something, just one thing for now, very mindfully bring that thought from the mind, from that subtle aspect of our being, bring it down into the body with a breath. Feel it root within you. And now simply notice how your body feels. What's the response? Just notice, observe, no judgment. Do it again with a deep breath, pull that same thought into your mind and into your body and ask your body how it feels. Do 
you notice it. Sometimes there's tension that's created or a holding or a constriction. Sometimes there's freedom and opening and expansion and light. So let's do it again now with another thought. And this is of course to get the idea so that you know this tool going forward. But let's just practice one more time together. Bring your thoughts to one more deep yearning of your soul. Something else that came up for you when you asked, what is it that I really, really, really want? And now holding on to that thought, draw your breath in and bring it into the body. Let your body receive it and tell you any messages that it might have. notice the difference between this thought and the previous. Just notice. Now take another deep breath in and let those thoughts and feelings go. Maybe you want to sigh out through your mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. And now for a moment, feeling that space of clearing, of openness within, that space of presence. Connect now with your furry friend. Maybe they're physically nearby. Maybe they're a little fur further away. Or maybe they're beyond this earth plane. Take a few deep breaths now with them. Just feeling connected very deep in your heart and soul. And silently, if there was a wanting, a yearning that came to your mind and into your body that was a clear yes, then silently ask your companion now for support. For they are very powerful energy bodies and beings as well. They can manifest just like we can. So ask for their help, their alignment. Notice if you can perceive how they feel. Thank them for being in your life and for being such a beautiful friend. For going on this journey of life and beyond together. And now settling back into your heart. Another few deep breaths from this space. Perhaps having gained a little clarity through this practice, or perhaps a good tool to be able to use now and going forward to help you listen to the whispers of our physical being. Let it be your guide, your compass. holding on to those thoughts, those insights. If it's comfortable, you can bring your palms together and hands toward your heart or just leave your hands where they are. And we'll seal our practice on day one of Intentional Pause 2019 with one long ohm together. Breath in. Taking a bow, honoring yourself for coming to this practice together, honoring your truth that speaks from your heart through your soul 
and that you're now maybe connected a little more to than you were 20 minutes ago. And taking a moment to thank our furry friends and honor them for this practice as well. Lots of love, my little amigos all over the place. <laughs> and thank all of you so much. I hope that you were really able to tune into that as the, as mentioned, you know, as that compass is so ready for us to use it. I hope that that gave you even better connection and a deepening there. And now from today to tomorrow, because tomorrow's all about manifestation, day two. So between today and tomorrow, work that tool a little bit and see if you can, maybe you gain some clarity in this practice and this experience together now but maybe that's something that you wanna do later today. Maybe you wanna do with a friend or a family member. Maybe you do it right before you go to bed tonight when you wake up in the morning. But just take a little time with it to see if you can really settle into one, two, maybe three at the most because otherwise we turn into crazy multitaskers, right? Trying to like get everything done in one year. So keeping your intention very simple is always a good idea and keeping it, um, very close to your heart and pulling it out of the head as much as you can get it into the body digest it and see how it feels and that process will give you a very clear yes or no if this is the one for you and for this year maybe it's a great intention to have but is it right for you right now and that's the that's what we're looking to gain insight into is get out of the thought process and really into the presence to gain knowledge and wisdom of our intuition because that's where it's at. We can move through the flow of life so much more easily in that way. And I know that you all are experiencing that and hopefully will continue to experience that even more after bringing attention to it like this. So lots of love to all of you. Tomorrow is our manifestation day. So at noon, we'll come together, Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, to that session tomorrow, if you'll bring a piece of paper or a journal, that would be great. And then we'll have some time to work with that. So um, just a reminder, and I'll put it in the Facebook group in the morning too, so you remember. And just let you know, letting you know people can still join. So if you'd like to share this with others, please let them know. I have a course, a signature course with Sama Dog called Total Wellbeing for Dogs. It's an online six-week course. Many of you have participated in it. And that's something that I will definitely be sharing little bits and pieces about as we go. But it really takes all of this deeper, all of our intentions deeper into our life and throughout the year. Um, many more details can be found online and I'll put the link below, but I do want to let all of you know that everybody that's participating in Intentional Pause 2019 with us is able to get 50% off of that program, of the course. So again, I'll put the link below if you'd like to learn more details. Lots of love to all of you. Have a wonderful New Year's Day. Thank you for participating and I wish you the very best with your deep intentions. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow.